Hi, I am Dr. Vaibhav Deraje. I am a craniofacial and plastic surgeon based in Bangalore. Today, I am going to talk about the actual process of helmet therapy. Now, helmet therapy is used both after surgery for craniosynostosis and also sometimes for deformational plagiocephaly. Now, the process of helmet therapy is predominantly done by our orthotists. Here, first of all, the orthotist take some measurements of the skull of the child then there is something called as the star scanner that is first the child is wore a socks kind of a material on the skull which is followed by scans using a iphone which has an inbuilt software for a star scanning now this star scanner actually maps out the key landmarks of the skull and gives us measurements to prepare a 3D printed helmet. Now this data is then sent over to our partners in Ortho America and a 3D printed helmet is produced. It usually takes anywhere around one week to 10 days to fabricate this helmet. So we usually do this scan and wait for seven to 10 days before the helmet arrives from the United States of America. Once the helmet arrives, then our highly qualified orthotists will do some adjustments, will do some tweaking to get the final shape of the helmet, which is perfectly fitting on the child's head. Now this helmet therapy is usually started seven to 10 days after the surgery in craniosynostosis and immediately after a deformational plagiocephaly diagnosis. You will need to see our orthotists for at least every 15 days in the first three months and then monthly thereafter. The helmet therapy usually runs anywhere between three months to one year. In very mild to moderate cases of deformational plagiocephaly, the child might need only three months of helmet therapy. Whereas in helmet therapy post craniosynostosis correction, the child might require at least one year of helmet therapy.